Okay, so first of all, this table needs to be converted into an official Excel table. So click somewhere inside the table and then press Control T. And then OK. Then I'm going to clear the table formatting and remove the filter button to change the table back to the way I want it to look. Then in the table, design tab, select insert slicer. And I'm going to choose the compounds slicer, which is the column heading for the first column in this table. And OK. Then I'll make the slicer bigger and increase the number of columns until I can see all of my compounds without having to scroll. Then I will make a chart for the whole of this table by selecting all of the table and going to insert and inserting a scatter chart. Then I will move this and resize it. And at the moment, each of the individual lines is a different day. But I want this to be the other way around. I want each of the compounds to be a different line. So to get this, I'm going to use switch row slash column. And then each of the lines is a different compound. Then double click on the chart to open up the formatting bar and go to properties and select don't move or size with cells. This will stop the chart moving around or disappearing when the slicer is used. Then select the chart again and choose one of the slicers. And now there is only one line on the chart. That is because the slicer acts like a filter for the table and so it only shows this one row. And then the Excel chart is linked to this table but Excel charts by default only show the visible values. So the slicer can be used to select different values to show on the chart. It is possible to select multiple values at the same time by holding down control and then selecting them. It is also possible to deselect a value just by holding control and then clicking it again. Then to clear all of the filters, you can use clear filter up here and that will bring everything back. And there is this multi select option, which will allow you to select multiple options at the same time without having to hold down control. And then to deselect a value, you just have to click on it again. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use Excel slices in order to make a dynamic chart in Excel. And that is everything.